For some, the rain has come down way too hard again. This will be a quick fuse event, not like the big river flooding we were seeing a couple weeks ago. But that said, as you look into eastern Clay County, northern part of Leslie County, we have a flash flood warning, and that's going to be effective until 8 o'clock. Uh, you're seeing some of the rainfall totals that have fallen over just the last few hours, and we're approaching three inches in some places. So small creeks and streams can come up very, very quickly. And as we always tell you, never drive across a flooded road. The thing is, even away from that flash flood warning, you're seeing the heavy rain totals across northern Perry getting into the northern part of not southern part of McGoffin counties as well, even clipping the southern part of Breathitt County. So this is the flood warning. Here is the end result from the Max Track Doppler. Severe so weather's over in West Virginia. This is now just big rain making storms that we're seeing there across southeast Kentucky. And an interesting line has formed right there. We'll look at all that coming up in just a sec. So the heavy rain makers. So you're seeing that in Leslie County. Hyden's kind of lost in the clutter there. But you've got the uh, the Hal Rogers Parkway, northern part of Clay County, getting into the Perry County area north of Hazard getting up toward Viper, southern part of uh, Jackson, uh, Breathitt County there, south of Jackson, continues into Knott County. And that's a pretty good line also running from you know, south of Hazard, then over toward Letcher County. So again, you can see some stronger winds mixed in there and likely some small hail as well. Salyersville, northern part of Floyd County from Prestonsburg over to Paintsville. It's raining hard. Uh, you then come into uh, Montgomery County. You folks just west of Camargo, that's likely going to be some hail. And you see the lightning going on with that as well. And that continues on up to Mount Sterling along I-64 through Clark County, eastern part of Fayette County. You've got some hard rain now going out Richmond Road, uh, also continuing then along Highway 60 as well. But what's also interesting to see here, you see that little bit of a line. That line is essentially what the cold front has become, and that is now dropping southward. So anyone south of that, you're likely to see some rain here in the next little bit north of I-64. The rain maybe just about done. So. Strong storm chance that'll be ending over the next couple of hours as the sun goes down, but still those heavy rain making storms for the next few hours. The cold air is pouring in. It may catch up to just a little bit of moisture at the very tail end. Early in the morning, you could see a renegade flake east of 75. Spring starts this weekend, so does a string of nice weather days. The big storms are now across the Carolinas, but we also have a few of them, especially now just to our east, but at a slight risk of severe storms does linger in eastern Kentucky. Those are the tornadic, tornadic storms from yesterday, Alabama, Mississippi. And also there were some back here in Missouri with the upper level low where it ended up snowing today. So some folks had a tornado yesterday, snow today. There were numerous tornado reports, but it could have been a whole lot worse for people down in Alabama. And then those storms have now worked their way through the Carolinas. But here is our mess that we see going on. There is your front. That's that little bit of a cold front right there. And the low itself, that cold pocket aloft, is what's going to be sliding by here over the next little bit. And with that, that's why we're seeing those rain showers around. We'll see those decrease as we go through the night. The north winds pour in as does the cold air. But the good news, once we get past tonight and early tomorrow, this is your weekend, and that looks good. Rain chances are minimal tomorrow, even less so as we go through Fridays or Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, and we'll see those numbers then ramp up in the middle of next week as the temperatures also ramp up, and we love to see that. Right now, we see temperatures that are falling in northern Kentucky. The cold air is coming. Showers ending windy, turning colder tonight. We'll be in the mid 30s tomorrow. Clouds early, then increasing sunshine, breezy. Temperatures just near 50. But we'll flirt with 60 on Saturday for the first day of spring, then in the 60s through the middle of the week with rain chances by Wednesday.